Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google's automated document and file approval feature. Are you watching the right video? Well, if you're looking for a 100% drama-free automated file approval process for any type of file on Google Drive, then yes. Quickly, some requirements. It doesn't work for free accounts. You do need to have a paid account, and it needs to be one of these right here. All right. Approvals helps you do what exactly? Well, three big things. Manage approvals for any type of file saved in your Google Drive. Automate the document approval process by assigning someone as approver and you're done. That's it. Track any type of file out for review, whether you've sent it or received it as an approver or requesting approval via simple dashboard or filter in your Google Drive. I'll show you all these in a second, but I want to hit the wave tops of how you use it. First, request a file approval, wait, receive a notification, and then check approved or rejected. Receive a file approval request, review it, and then approve it or reject it. Once all assigned reviewers have approved the file, you're done. It's that easy. If someone rejects the file, you're done. It's that easy. Uh, that's how it works. Those are the wave tops. These are the features right here, but now we're going to jump into the demo. All right. So if I use the control tab, I can jump into the Google Drive of prompts and examples for me to share with you. So first, we're going to we're going to walk through the request approval process. So you can see I got a document here teed up ready for us to do that. There's two ways that we can request approval. I mentioned that you can get approvals for any files on Google Drive. So I'm gonna show you that first way. If I click here, and then I click the info button up here top right, you'll see that there's this new column on the right hand side here, which is approvals. And so I could make the request from right here, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and open the document. And this is a little small, so I'm gonna bring up the type for us with Control Alt plus plus once I click in the document. Now we're at 150%, you can read it a little better. All right, so these are the things we're gonna talk about, but again, I'm gonna show you from, from here how to do it. So we're gonna to move to File, and then Approvals, about uh, almost halfway down the screen there. Click on the Approvals button. And I'm gonna be moving my face left and right this whole uh, demo, so please forgive me. We're gonna make the request. Dialog box comes up. I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, demo, because this person is great at receiving and actioning my approval requests. Uh, Windows V will bring up my clipboard. I'm going to, oops, didn't mean to put that there. <laughs> A little jumpy. All right, uh, Windows V, please approve. Thank you so much. In the request box, here's the nice feature, add a due date. Okay, so I'm going to give this person till tomorrow at 6 p.m. Click OK. We have two options now. We can allow approvers to edit the file. Uh, so if they didn't previously have access, now they should have access. And then lock the file before sending approval request. You can do this, but when the person receives the file, they can uncheck that box if they want to, to edit the document. What does this all mean? Here's the bottom line. So right here, edits during the approval process will reset any recorded approvals. So just what that, what that means um, in, with simplicity is if you've got three people looking at it and the third person clicks the document and then edits it, it's going to go back to that first person to make sure everyone's seen everything in the document or the final version before they approve it. Um, so that's how that works. We're going to send the request. Sending, sending. The file is locked. It's giving us all these notifications. You can see this blue uh, bar up top there letting us know that this thing is uh, set for review. Uh, I'm going to make the screen just a little bit bigger for us again one more time. I've done all these things on the left-hand side, and now we're going to jump into the, um, the receiver's email account. So here we are. Uh, we hit the inbox, and there it is. Uh, this is great. I'm going to get an email letting me know I need to approve this document. I'm going to get a push notification. Uh, so Google is making sure that you did not miss uh, this opportunity to review and approve this document. So here we, here we see new approval request. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And by the way, if I didn't click that button, but I just opened the document, this blue bar is always up here to help us out. So we know this thing is pending approval. Uh, I'm going to click on the view details. Before I do that, control shift plus will make my browser a little bigger, uh, just so you guys can see what's going on here. View details. 
And so these are the details. We don't really need this right now. All we, all we need to do is actually approve the document. Um, and I am in my work account, so I'm gonna flip accounts here. That's why it wasn't letting me <laughs> approve it. So here we go, approve, reject, or view details. So we're gonna go ahead and approve the document as demo this time. Uh, approve, I can leave a message. Uh, it's great, and then just go ahead and hit that approve button. And you see up here this notification, this is the last approved version. Editors can unlock to make edits, comments, and suggestions. Awesome. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this. I'm going to move over to here, and we can see the original document, when I hit refresh, is gonna be locked because this is the final approved version. So that's that's how easy the process, that's how easy the process works. I'm gonna show you some more of the features here as we move down this list. Uh, this approval prox process makes the makes identifying bottlenecks obvious, as it says right here. Well, how does it do that? So I'm going to open this document. View details to identify the bottleneck. So we'll see this blue bar come up as it does to be as it as it tries to be helpful for us, and it usually is here. Uh, we can see here waiting for one approver to approve. And if we look at the details over here. And if I control shift plus to make the browser a little bigger, you can see this better. Uh, you can see over here, um, Josh and then Demo both approved this, uh, but this gentleman at the very top here, still pending. Um, and then you can look down here and see that everybody approved this on Thursday. And it is now Sunday and we are still waiting. Um, so again, the bottleneck is obvious. All right, uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here that I wanted you to see? I don't think so, so we can close this out. We saw all this stuff and we'll go back to our list of benefits. Document status is clear. This is pretty cool, so check this out. Let me open this up. Uh, I'm gonna talk about two things in here, document status and, document status and uh, Google Dashboard, the Google Drive Dashboard, which I talked about earlier. So we can see here, this is telling us there's, there's an approved version available. This document was previously approved and may have been modified. So again, that document status or clarity or certainty on are we are we dealing with the approved document, yes or no? And this is gonna help us identify when we aren't. So let's go ahead and click on view details. I'll get myself out of the way once more here. All right, no approvals on current version. So this thing has been approved, but down here at the very bottom, there's an approved version of this file. So we'll hit the view button and it's gonna give us all the history of, of what this file went through. We can click on this and it's gonna give us some more history. Um, but what I want to highlight here is right here, version one document status is, so October 25th, 10.58 a.m. was when this document, uh, when this document was approval complete right here. All right, well, where is that document? What does it look like? And you might kind of scratch your head for a bit if you didn't know to go to the file version history. So file, let me get some of this stuff out of the way so this document looks normal here. All right, file. And then we scroll down to version history. Then we're going to go. To go we're going to go to C version history. So here we go. And it's going to pull up the version history of this document. And what I want to show you first here is on the right hand side is the timeline of this document. And if you move, well, I can do a number of things. What I want to show you next is if you move up here to where it says total two edits. As you click the down button, it's gonna work you through the edits that were made since this document was approved on October 25th. So here's the approved version, right? We saw that it was approved on the 25th. So now we're looking at today's version. And if we push this down button, it's gonna walk us through each of those edits. And so this strike through over here represents deletions. And so if I click the down arrow, it's gonna take me to the first series of edits, which is right here. And you can see that Josh Evilsizer deleted all this stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna move to the next edit. All right. And you can see that Josh Evilsizer added this information. So we can see the approved document was deleted. And now we're looking at this stuff at the very bottom. Sorry, I could have just clicked the arrow to take me right there. There you go. So the version history will show you uh, what you need to know about what was changed in the document since it was approved. The last thing I wanted to show you from here or that I had on my list over here, Google Drive is awaiting, uh, is your awaiting approval dashboard. So we'll jump into Google Drive. 
And if I click the advanced search button like this, it brings up this dialog box. And if I scroll down, I can look for documents that are awaiting my approval. Okay, am I the bottleneck? Am I the bottleneck? Who's waiting on me? So I click that button. I click the search button. Nothing. All right, Josh is on top of stuff. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> Who owes me something? So I click requested by me. And I could check them both if I wanted to, but requested by me. And there you see I've got four documents uh, out for approval. And of course, the bottleneck, uh, if you want to know who that is, as I showed you before, that's very easy. We click the info tab, the approvals tab, and then you'll see uh, the clock or waiting on icon shows us who the bottleneck is or where it's stuck. Who's got us jammed up? All right, let's take this back to where we started. Our list of benefits. Document status is clear. Edited document. Let's show you that one. Okay, uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put my face here so I'm not in the way. This is a highly edited document. All right, approved version. This is the last approved version editors can unlock to make edits, comments, and suggestions. So this document's been through the revision, the revision process um, and it is now locked because it's fully approved. But what I wanna show you is, as this document went through the revision process, people edited it. Edited, I can't say that word to save my life. Uh, edited the document and then it was reset and pushed back through that review process to make sure nobody missed any changes that occurred. And I'll show you that right here. All right, every time you see this right here, this thing was reset. Uh, so you'll see that Josh Evelsizer made minor ads, great job, boom, documents reset. Uh, then demo, I think, made some changes, boom, documents reset, until it works its way through all three approvers. Uh, so just wanted to highlight, if someone makes a change, it's gonna route that thing back through all the folks that have not seen that change. Pretty straightforward and kind of neat. All right. What I also want to show you is using version history, as we looked at before, uh, we can get insight into who made what changes to this document. So again, sorry, file, version history, C version history. There's also a shortcut for that, which is just too many to remember. <laughs> I'll go ahead and click the buttons on that one. Um, origami on your keyboard. Okay, so if you look on the left-hand side here and then on the right-hand side, so purple Josh right here, click on that. And then we've got orange Josh and blue Josh. Sorry, this is me collaborating with myself to give you a robust viewing document, but the names are all the same. So as you can see, orange Josh made this edit. Uh, purple Josh uh, made, actually orange Josh deleted purple Josh's edit. A uh, little bit of rivalry going on there. Purple Josh made these additions. Blue Josh made this edition and Purple Josh made this edition. So file version history, version, version history, very handy for seeing uh, what was changed in the document along the way. But of course you would have received it as, a, as an approver and you would have seen those changes that they hap as they happen in real time. Uh, but if you are someone outside of the approval process, you could look in and see what happened to that document. All right, I think you got it. Helpful reminders, so as this thing as this approval a process uh, is enacted and then goes through all the changes and as this document becomes approved, uh, there are a number of helpful reminders that occur uh, to keep this thing moving forward. Uh, it stops or eliminates uh, us from doing that over email or chat. All right, so I'm gonna move my head over here. And these are the things I wanna show you that there are notifications for new approval assignments uh, via email or push, email reminders for overdue assigned approvals occur and approve and come and those are come via email or push uh, for overdue assigned approvals and approve and comment status notifications. So as people approve and comment, uh, you'll get notifications and updates for that as well. You've seen this stuff uh, in, in other Google documents. So it's none of it's like really mind bending, but I just want to give an example of what it looks like. All right. So I request an approval and you get an email. It looks like this approval request. Boom, you click on it, open it. I've showed you this earlier. Now, uh, as this approval is nearing the due date or due time, uh, so this thing is due Friday, October 27th, 9 a.m. Uh, as you can see up here, it's 8.51. So I get an email nine minutes prior, like, hey, dude, this thing's gonna be, gonna be due pretty soon. You better, better knock it out. Uh, and then as this thing becomes overdue at 9 a.m., 
at 9 a.m., I get an email saying this thing is overdue. You have not approved it yet. Uh, so helpful email reminders and push notifications to keep the approval process working. Very handy. All right. This is what a rejected document looks like. Uh, you can't tell that it's rejected in here until you actually look at, and I'm just going to click it from here. It's a little easier. Uh, so I've selected the rejected document. I click the info tab and you can see over here in the approval section that the approval was rejected and you're done. <laughs> uh, finally, as I mentioned before, you can get approvals on any file on Google Drive. And I wanted to throw in this video file to prove that to you. Um, not that you don't believe me, but so there it is. And I click on the info tab, the approvals tab, make a request. And just like you saw me do before, I can send a request for approval on this video file. I think, I think that is it. Um, what else did I want to show you in this video? Why would you use this? Well, besides all the reasons that I just, or I guess besides all the benefits and features that I just highlighted, besides all those reasons that you might want to use this, and this is a little big, so I'm going to go control shift minus to get our browser down to my original size. Um, there we go. And you saw some of the <laughs> stuff at the bottom of my document. You're not supposed to see in any event. Uh, if you've ever tried to staff a document via email or chat, it's communication chaos, back and forth, back. Hey, did you get the document? Have you seen that? And when more than four people are involved, the problem grows geometrically. What do I mean by grows geometrically? I'll show you. All right. So when you've got three people involved, it looks like this. Not a big deal. Four people. Hmm. Okay. Five people. Yuck. <laughs> Six people. Gross. Hopefully you've never got more than 14 people coordinating on the approval of a document. The communication chaos just gets out of control, right? Um, approvals eliminates all that coordination chaos. It eliminates the who's got the document, who made the changes, what changes were made, did approver number one see changes made by approver number three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This eliminates that. Automate to eliminate communication chaos. Send, review, approve, or reject, and you're done. That is it. Confetti. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget, uh, if you, uh, oh yeah, I almost said that wrong. Link goodness in the description, description down below. Uh, like, subscribe if you like this. Share it with somebody that can use it or share the video at work to get people to approve the approval process. As always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.